Hello. Today I am going to talk to you about the bedtime routine of my son Rishit. I would like to share what do we do before his bedtime so that he can get a sound sleep. So let's get started. Welcome to my channel Life Talks with Riya. A bedtime routine is extremely important for a child for many reasons. Uh, first of all, it gives a clear-cut idea to the child that it's sleep time. And another thing is, uh, it also helps the child to get a sound and better sleep. We have always followed a bedtime routine for our son Rishit since he was one year old. At that time, it was uh, he was just one year old or two year old. The bedtime routine was absolutely different from what it is now. So I will be making a separate video on what bedtime routine we used to follow when he was one or two years old. Uh, he was a baby, and now he is four plus. So the bedtime routine right now is really different. We try to make the bedtime routine as relaxing as possible. His bedtime routine starts uh, between 8.15 to 8.30 p.m. Uh, well, we try a lot to stick to this time no matter what because we don't want this routine to get disturbed. The first and foremost thing that we do is like we switch off the TV or any gadgets or any screen in the house just a one hour before the sleep. Uh, for example, if he sleeps at 9 o'clock, uh, we try to switch off the TV uh, at least 8 o'clock at night uh, because any screen time before bedtime can disturb a child's uh, sound sleep. Uh, it can be anything like uh, laptops, computers, la uh, tablets plates, phones or even TVs, any screen. The second thing that we do regularly is we make him wear night dress every night. Well, this thing may seem really normal, but uh, I feel that uh, just uh, for example, when a child wears a school dress and uh, after wearing the school dress, he gets into the mood of going to school and enjoy. Uh, just like that, I feel that when a child wears a night dress or night suit, he gets into that mood of or mindset of uh, sleep and that kind of calms him down and he understands that yes, it's uh, like no first time, it's now sleep time. Time I need to go to bed. Another important thing that we regularly follow every night is we make him brush his teeth because we feel that it's really good for the hygiene purpose. So we regularly follow this routine. The next thing that we do with him in the bedtime routine is like we indulge in some activities with him. The activities which really makes him happy. These activities may include like playing hide and seek with just between three of us like me, uh, Rishit and my husband. Also play the game catch the ball it really makes him happy and we laugh a lot and we try to make this activities really fun uh, we also indulge in pillow fighting three of us and it really makes a great lot of fun these activities not only makes Rishit happy it also makes him tired so he just sleeps in minutes Apart from this activity, sometimes Rishit feels like uh, just reading a book. Like we have many picture books for him like flip up lab book and all those uh, books you know with big big pictures, cartoon characters or uh, like bears and elephants and all these books for him. He just likes to look into those pictures and talk about them. Uh, well, uh, we really try to make that activity also really fun. Uh, sometimes he also likes to play alphabet uh, words with alphabet bit game like we have made it into a game like like you know uh, a for apple b for ball or something like that we just ask him to guess the uh, alphabet that the word is starting with and that really that's not a study thing that really makes him happy we try to make it really fun sometimes what i do is i imitate or my husband imitates the sound of the animals or you know we make expressions like the elephant and we uh, like this uh, lion we make the sound of the lion or or something like that so that's how we make these things really exciting 
and after all these activities and playing is done we just dim the light or either me or my husband stays with me, with him in the room and we just uh, sing some songs soothing songs that he likes or we say some rhymes or something that he likes and uh, you know he just gets into sleep uh, within minutes like within 10 to 15 minutes and that's because those activities has really made him tired and that's why he gets into sleep so quickly and the next morning he just wakes up filled with energy extremely energetic just like a superman and uh, you know he is always like jumping on the bed after he wakes up and one more thing that really amazing is like uh, he always wakes up before me uh, say if I wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning he wakes up before me like 6 30 because yes he sleeps so soon uh, so I really fo follow this uh, thing you know I really believe in this thing like early to bed and early to rise at least for the toddlers or for children because at that time it's their growth time and they need to get adequate sleep we always like to follow a bedtime routine for our child because we are not one of those kind of parents like who just uh, suddenly uh, you know in the house everybody is working and uh, the TV is also on and everybody is working and suddenly uh, the parents say okay now sleep time now let's switch off the TV now you know uh, we had already had the dinner now switch off the lights now get to bed and children just go and get to bed uh, I, uh, I just don't feel that night uh, right right you know because I feel that there has to be a specific routine because toddlers and children's love routine so uh, when we put into a routine they also get disciplined and uh, these routines actually help them to calm down to relax from the activities or the, uh, the whole thing done the entire entire day and it actually makes him ready for sleep and as you know I've already discussed that he sleeps in 10 to 15 minutes and that's really first free for the parents because we also get some time after he sleeps for our work and everything and one more thing I would like to discuss as in any bedtime routine for any child uh, the whole cooperation of entire family is absolutely needed like you know uh, we are a nuclear family we are just three members in the house so there is no problem but uh, where there are like more members in the house it's a joint family uh, all the cooperation from each and every family member for the toddler or the child is needed for a good and healthy bedtime routine so this was the bedtime routine I really wanted to share with you all and I believe you like the video if you have anything to suggest or share with me please write down below in the comment section box I would love to answer them all so see you in my next video till then bye bye